These Uganda Young Democrats sought to walk in protest from the DP party offices to Luzira prisons with an aim of meeting their leader, Norbert Mao. Mao was detained on Monday after the walk-to-work -work protests after he declined to apply for bail. But police blocked the youth at Kampala Road and a bitter exchange of words ensued. <laughs> The youth later moved downtown to the old park where military police reinforced regular police to stop their march. Riot police fired tear gas canisters after the youth became defiant, sending people scampering to safety. You chase them from here, they go this side. You chase them from here because they want to steal people's properties. That one is, is, is very clear. That is on top of their agenda. The planned demonstration by the Democratic Party activists has been thwarted by the police and the military men that you see here who are now holding fort at this area of the old taxi park and have paralyzed business here. A number of business-minded citizens took advantage of the situation to sell water to those suffering tear gas effects. <laughs> Democratic Party President Norbert Mao was last night relocated to Nakasongola prison for what prison's authorities say was for his own safety. Mao and the six others were taken to Nakasongola, one of the most modern prisons in Uganda and very secure with all the facilities. But other DP leaders believe their president general was not relocated in good faith. Because it seems that uh, many institutions of government are starting to be fused with the political apparatus in the country. The DP youth have vowed to press on until they see their leader. I want to warn the military that we are not going to be intimidated. They have stolen our president from Luzira and we are going to search for him. And I want to call upon the youth of the Democratic Party that this is another thing that is starting. On Tuesday, we shall search every safe house in Kampala for our president. Such protests that have been kept out of the city have become common as the opposition demands government action to stem the tide of rising fuel and commodity prices.